Welcome back. Inside this box is a Chromebook from 2023. It's the Lenovo 14e Chromebook Gen 3. The E in the name means it's part of Lenovo's education Chromebook lineup. It's a 14-inch clamshell Chromebook with a nice spec, and as of just a few days ago, an even longer update life to Chrome OS. I'll explain more in just a bit. I made a couple of posts on X and Threads and YouTube hinting at this purchase, but I didn't post a deal on it this time as it was a one-off listing. I did use the eBay voucher code I posted about though to get 20% off this as a grade A refurb from Laptop Outlet Direct on eBay in the UK, and I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I paid about £184, that's just about 246 US dollars. Let's get into the unboxing and take a first look at it and see if it reminds you of another Chromebook I've shown on the channel. First off, we've got the USB-C charger, and I've of course got a UK power plug with it. And this charger is a 65 watt model. It's still in its original wrapping here, but you can see even on the side there, it's marked as 65 watt. The majority of the models will see the same 65 watt charger, but a handful in this range will have 45 watt versions. But the beauty of this 65 watt version is it should allow for rapid charging and take the battery to about 80% in just one hour. Okay, and let's get inside the box for the Chromebook itself. Okay, so naturally, as always, we've got a bit of paperwork up here that, uh, yeah, probably as usual, not going to need. Let's take a look at this then. Oh, even more paperwork stashed away in here. I thought we got away a bit lightly there, but you can see the different models that the paperwork applies to, so that's going to give you uh, quite a clue already to the other Chromebook that this is very similar to. So it's an aluminium lid, which already gives it that more premium feel, really nice uh, to hold in the hand, nice rounded off corners, not feeling too heavy. I'll flash up the weight on the screen for you now. The rest of the build, apart from that aluminium lid, is plastic, but it all feels pretty solid. There's no flex at all in the hand, as you'd expect. And the colour is Storm Grey, which every single option in this model line comes in. So yeah, nothing to get too excited about, but looks pretty smart. You'll notice also that it's just branded Chromebook, not Chromebook Plus on the lid. So yeah, this one isn't a Chromebook Plus, but there are options in the range that meet the criteria that are Chromebook Plus models but I particularly wanted to look at this one. It's got the Intel N200 processor on it, but more on that in just a bit. So I'll just show you the ports. Over on the right-hand side here, we've got a full-size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, and then there's an HDMI version 1.4 connection, and then you've got the Kensington Nano slot. I think that's, you know, if you need to lock this one down in the classroom, anything like that, being an education model. And let's take a look at the left hand side of the Chromebook. So here we've got the one USB-C port, but it is a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 port. So a lot of Chromebooks tend to have Gen 1. Gen 2 can support faster data transfer speeds. So although it's not dual USB-C, the one USB-C port you could argue is a bit higher spec here, so maybe a better option for some. You've got a second full-size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, and then you've got that headphone, microphone, audio combo jack. I'll just show you around the back as well. So nothing on the back of this one, just the hinges. Interestingly, Lenovo's webpage showed a slot for a SIM card in the back as an option. But then when you went into the spec options, it didn't actually include that for any of the models. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. So I wouldn't expect to find that if you did go for one of these. But you have got Bluetooth 5.1 and Wi-Fi 6E compatibility. Having a look underneath, and you have got a grill for the ventilation. I don't think you're gonna have a fan in this one with the N200. I think that's just there because they've used the same chassis for the other options that include up to the Core i3 N305 that would have a fan and would, uh, would need that. You've got drain holes here either side. So these are gonna be for the spill resistant keyboard. Again, being an education model, it's just got some of those other uh, kind of design use cases in mind for who might be spilling drinks over it, but probably handy for us all. Um, and you have got the speakers down here at the front. Sadly, they're not on the keyboard deck firing up at you. They are underneath, 
But again, maybe related to the design and having that spill resistant keyboard, it would probably be a bit counterintuitive to have speaker grills up on the keyboard deck for that. Okay, let's open it up and take a look at the keyboard deck. Just get rid of the protective cover from inside here. Okay, so the keyboard deck looking good, all looking very clean. Keys have got that slightly uh, deeper, sort of medium to deeper key travelers expected black keycaps on this. So the model that this is very similar to because it, it shares the chassis and a lot of the same options for the components is the Slim 3i Chromebook. I had the Chromebook Plus version of that on the channel earlier in the year. And I also made a quick video actually about this Chromebook and how similar it was because when I opened up the Slim 3i, I could see that even some of the components were labeled as the 14e Gen 3. I've got the backlit option as well. I'll probably just overlay a quick bit of video footage showing the backlighting on this because it's just really too dark to uh, to show you that. Trackpad, not feeling at all loose, that's good. Um, relatively small but very smooth and on the Slim 3i it was really responsive so I think that's, uh, that's going to be nice to use. Um, and yeah, no real flex to it here, a tiny bit, but nothing that you're going to worry about in day-to-day actual usage. I should mention as well of course that it's reassuring that this display does go back 180 degrees against the keyboard deck so yeah always nice to see that but of course it's not a convertible model. And the Chromebook as you can see has started up straight away as mentioned this is a grade A refurb so it's obviously been used before. I'll talk more about the 14 inch IPS full HD display in just a bit and at the top of it you have got the webcam with a manual privacy slider um, this one's just a 720p option, but there is a 1080p option in the model range as well. Okay, so I've just jumped into guest mode quickly and turned off the Wi-Fi just to stop it updating and see what's what with this Chromebook. So let's just come into the settings and look at about Chrome OS. So we can see, okay, it's running version 111 of Chrome OS. So I've checked and that's from March 23. Uh, whereas the manufacture date of this Chromebook is about December 23, which kind of makes sense. So I'm not sure why it's on such an older build. You would have thought they'd put a slightly newer build on it. Could have been rolled back at some point, or it could have been during the refurb process. They flash it with an image of Chrome OS from a set date. Not too sure. I thought that could have been newer, but we'll get it up to date. We are at Chrome OS 128 at the moment, so I'll get that updated in just a minute. And if we look at the additional details now for the update schedule, uh, it's already picked up the update to that interestingly. So that's separate to picking it up through any Chrome OS update. And you can see it's saying that it's gonna get updates until June 2035. So up until about last Friday or the weekend, Chrome OS devices with the Intel N200 processor like this has, the Intel N100 from the same generation and the Intel Core i3 N305 from the same generation were getting Chrome OS updates all the way through to June 2033. Google have now increased that by two years to make it June 2035. I think part of that might be related to the narratives that they put out last year of 10 years of update life on new devices. And because Chromebooks with that series of processors mentioned were being released in 2023, giving them 10 years of life to 2033 at that point made sense. But we're still seeing new Chromebooks in 2024, as I've shown on the channel, like the recent HPs that have that family of processor and therefore wouldn't be seen as getting 10 years of updates if they come out in 2024. Whereas bumping it to 2035 for the end of Chrome OS updates for these devices, of course, may suggest to me that perhaps they're going to be releasing Chromebooks next year, brand new as well, that still have the N100, N200 and Core i3, N305. But that's just my theory. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, so set up with my test user now. One of the first things to talk to you about is the display. So it's a 14 inch full HD IPS display with up to 300 nits of brightness claimed on this one. And this one is also covering 45% of the NTSC space, but there is an even better option to watch out for that covers 100% of the sRGB color space. And that spec is also a touchscreen, unlike mine that is non-touch. 
On the other end of things, there's a TN display option as well, and there's some that are HD rather than Full HD, so just ignore those TN and non-Full HD displays, they're not going to be nice. Although this is a Full HD display, it's not running at a Full HD resolution out of the box, so you may want to check this on your Chromebook as well. Come in Settings, search for Display, and in Display Size here you can see it's running at 1536 by 864 and that's the default resolution, but you can actually knock it up here or down, depending on how you look at it, to 1920 by 1080 for that native Full HD resolution. So you can just appreciate you've got a lot more screen real estate now. Um, I didn't show you before, but you can appreciate, hopefully now you're fitting a bit more on screen and it just looks that much better. So yeah, definitely check that if you haven't on your Chromebook as well. And as I've mentioned for the core spec of this, I've got the Intel N200 processor, so that's the kind of sibling of the N100 and the Core i3 N305, which are also options in this range, and I've got 8 gig of RAM rather than the option for 4 gig of RAM, so again, I'd try and look for that if I were you. On the storage front, I've got 128 gig of storage on board, which is the highest spec for the 14E Gen 3 range. Uh, you can see after I've got my test user set up with some apps installed, I've got about 91 gig available. There are also options with just 32 gig or 64 gig. I'd certainly avoid the 32 gig model option. We'll check out the diagnostics for the battery health as well. And you can see here that it's at zero for the cycle count. So essentially an unused Chromebook, which is brilliant as a grade A refurb in this case and it's got 100% battery health, so again, excellent to see. For battery life itself, Lenovo claimed with the N200 or the N100, you could see up to 14 hours of battery life with the 14E Gen 3. That's compared to the Core i3 N305 with about 11 hours claimed. So if you want to see how that stands up, do subscribe for the full review. And in the meantime, check out this next video on screen featuring the sibling to this Chromebook, the Lenovo Slim 3i. I had the Chromebook Plus version earlier in the year and this is my verdict on it.